Hey what's up everyone welcome back to Ketu blogging and today in this video I am going to show you how you can add a wishlist feature in your WooCommerce store. So if you are running a WordPress website and want to add a wishlist feature then this video is for you. So as you can see I am using the Cadence theme and I am using the WooCommerce plugin for my e-commerce store. So if I go to the shop page then you will not see any wishlist feature. So if a user want to add a product to their wishlist so that later they can come back to your website and purchase that product. So wishlist is a must have feature that you should enable on your WooCommerce store. So for this let's go to the dashboard and we need to add a plugin just click on add plugin and here you need to search for a plugin like WP smart wishlist for WooCommerce. So let me quickly search for this plugin WP smart wishlist for WooCommerce and let's install the plugin. The plugin is developed by WP Clever. So let's activate. Now the plugin is activated. Let's go to settings and here you will see all the wishlist feature. Now let me go to the front end and let me refresh this shop page. And as you can see, you will see an option browse wishlist or add product to wishlist. So you can see there is some alignment issues. You can fix that using CSS code. So for now, let me change that wishlist button to wishlist link and let me hit save changes. Now let me refresh this page. Now you can see add to wishlist. Now let me click on that. Now you can see all the product that is being added to your wishlist. Now you can open a wishlist page as well. So the plugin will automatically create a wishlist page for you. So you can open that wishlist page. So for this, all you have to do is just go to pages. Let me open it in a new tab and let's click on the wishlist page. Now you need to add a short code like this. So let me click on convert to block and let me add a row layout and let me add that short code in that row layout. Now I can control the width of the wish list. So let me set the maximum width to 10050 pixel like this. Now you can set the alignment to default. You can hide the title on all the settings. So let me click on save and let me click on here. And as you can see, this is how the wish list looks like. So we need to add some margin from the top. So let's click on the row layout and let me click on here and let me add a top margin. Let's say I want to set a margin of 70 pixel. Let's click on save and let's refresh this page. All right, as you can see, this is how this wishlist feature works. Now user can click on here and remove the product from wishlist and they can add that product to cart and directly check out with the product. So you can add that wishlist in your menu as well. So for this, let's go to menu and here you need to click on view all and here you will see an option wishlist. Just click on add to menu and hit save changes. Now if you want to create the page manually, then you can also do that. Just go to pages, set a name like wishlist and you will find the short code here. So just scroll down and here you will find the short code for the wishlist page. So here you will find all the settings like you can limit the maximum wishlist per user. So if you set five, then user can be able to add five product max. If you want to set 10, then they can add 10 products in their wishlist. Now you can disable the wishlist feature for unauthorized or unauthenticated users and you can auto remove the wish product from the wishlist if they add that product to their cart and you can enable reload the count make sure to enable it and make sure to auto remove the product from wishlist and here you can set the type from button to link and you can use the icon as well so icon on the left side and you can see wishlist icon so you can change the icon here for the wishlist default one is good you can see the loading icon and once the product is added to the wishlist then you can open the wishlist in a pop-up window so let's hit save first now let's 
go back to the wishlist page now you can see the product in my account page as well so let me go to dashboard let's go to pages and let me open the my account page you can see the wishlist is now added to your my account page as well so directly you can add that wishlist in your menu or they can access that wishlist from their my account page let me change the theme first and let's check how it looks with other theme if it is compatible or not so let's go to appearance let's click on theme now let me activate the Bloxy theme here now let's go to the store and here you can add your product to wishlist so let me click on that and you can see our product is added to wishlist now you can go to my account page as well and you can see the wishlist in the my account page so user can easily click on remove and they can add the product to cart so this is how you can add a wishlist feature to your WooCommerce store using a simple plugin WP Smart Wishlist plugin. So I will include the plugin link in the description. Just download it and use it on your WooCommerce store. So if you face any issue, then you can ask me in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.